Good morning guys, it's afternoon over here, but I'm going to be changing out the locking hubs onto this thing so they're automatic right now, so basically air or vacuum powered. Um, I'm going to be changing them over to manual, which I'll show you here in just a second, but they're actually pretty easy. Mine are having the issue of not actuating or actually locking, so I'm going to just change them out to manual so it's going to be a lot easier and basically like safer or more reliable in the long run. So yeah, I'll show you real quick what they look like and we're good done. Here is the new one right here. This is what it's going to look like all nice and shiny. And then this is the old one because I've already done the other side. And as you can see, it's kind of worn out and it's just not working correctly. But this is the new one. It looks, it's super simple, honestly, to put in. It's just plug and play. You do like a little bit of oil on the inside just to, you know, lubricate just a little bit. No grease though, it says. But it's super easy. So all the tools that you need for this install is you're going to need a jack to lift it up, take the wheel off, you know, your tool to take off the lug nuts, and then just some screwdrivers, honestly, it's weirdly, and then something if you want to tap it on. But all you have to do is get this off. So let's take off the wheel, and uh, I'll show you what's on the inside. So this is what's inside of here, and all you need to do is there's, there's just clips, plastic clips, hooking into the piece of metal here that I'll go all the way around and hook in. So if you wanted to keep this thing, and or, you know maybe save it for later or something doesn't work, you slowly pry up each and every one, and then you pull it off. Since I'm not going to be keeping it, I'm just going to snap off all the plastic pieces on this thing. That way it'll just come off a lot easier, and I'll put the new one on. There we go. Now that we have all the things clipped off, it should just pull right out, right there. Just a little bit dirty. Um, you can see it's all corroded up in there, so it's probably not working right. Uh, so let's put the another new one in. All right, so here's the new one here. I put a little bit of oil on all the metal gearing and everything, so it should slide just right. Um, just like it says in the instructions, definitely don't do grease. Now don't forget your O-ring, which I forgot. <laughs> it goes on that little metal piece that the locking hub slides onto. Uh, it's always good to replace them so the water doesn't get into it. So, yeah. And then they said put it in the lock position. And then you're just going to have to find where the threads kind of want to go. Kind of like that. It just slides right on. And then just make sure these plastic pieces are all hooked in. It looks pretty good right there. But just in case, you can do a little rubber mallet on the metal part. And that's basically the whole thing. So just double check and make sure these plastic pieces are sealed around the ring. And that's it. And you can test. So let's see. We do this right here. We'll turn it forwards. And it's in the lock position. And back in here, I don't know if you can see it. But back in here, when we, when we turn this right here, it also turns the back. So it act is locked in and the CV axle or the axle is turning. So now let's disengage it right there. So that should be disengaged right there. There we go. So now when we turn this right here, this is not turning back there. So now we know it works. Sweet. Now I'll put the wheel back on and we'll be done basically. There we go. Wheels on. Looking sturdy. Now we can actually use the fill wheel drive. <laughs> All right, so I'll list the part in the description below. It's like a hundred something bucks. So honestly, probably worth the upgrade. So yeah, now you know how to do it. Ford Ranger are here. I'm gonna do a few more things on this thing. Handles, all that jazz. So yeah, give me a follow. Parts down below. All right, good luck on that. <laughs> See you next time. Peace.